faithfulness, His victory from generations to generations.
<laughs> so, today, uh, sino dito yung pupunta sa, sabi natin, kung pupunta kayo sa gera at wala kayong hawak na sandata. Okay lang ba yun? Kung pupunta tayo sa gera, susuburin natin siguro yung, ano, sabi natin, China. Tapos wala kang hawak na, na sandata. Sa tingin nyo ba mananalo ka? Hindi, wala ka si Lord. Nasa akin si Lord. Mananalo ka? Pero di ba, kung nasa gera tayo at wala tayong sandata, for sure, talo tayo. At pasit, matatalo talaga tayo. So today, we will talk about this weapon. Itong weapon na ito na, na nasa atin. Hindi natin kailangan ng physical o na hinahawakan. But nasa atin na siya. Amen? So, today we will talk about the battle cry. And it is our praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Sino dito yung nagpukuli sa Panginoon? Amen. Amen. So, this is the power of praise. Pag-isabi nga, the power of praise. Power of praise. Okay. So, sabi, sabi sa definition of praise, it is the expression of respect and gratitude as an act of worship. An expression of respect and gratitude as an act of worship. Merong expression. Sabihin nga natin, expression. Okay. Pag nagpupuring tayo sa Panginoon, ganito. Ito yung tsura. Praise the Lord of oh my soul. May expression? Meron expression? Wala. So, paano ba dapat i-express ang ano? Merong respect at merong gratitude. Eh, yung, yung nagbe, habang nagpe-praise and worship, alam mo yung nag, nag, ano yung tumatalon yung parang sa disco? Yung nag, ano han? Nagtatamaan? Di, 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 di ko alam yun, di ko alam yung disco. Ha? Slaman? Tawag daw slaman. Meron, meron gano'n na Habang nagpa-praise and worship, yung talagang talagang nagpapagaan na sila, nakakasakit na. Hindi pa rin. Kasi it is an expression of respect and gratitude. Amen? So as we praise, there is an expression. Amen? Next is, Praise is giving God all that is His due and giving Him room in our life to do all He wants to do. When we praise God, we are giving God a room. Lord, Ikaw na ang humilos. Ginagawa mong uh, open book yung buhay mo every time you are praising God. Amen? So every time that we praise God, nagkakaroon ng, ng change. Kasi nabubuksan yung puso mo. Amen? Amen? So, we are called, chosen, and formed to declare God's praise. Sabi sa Isaiah 43 verse 21, These people, I formed for myself. Ginawa ko para sa akin. Ikaw, ang katabi mo ay ginawa ni Lord para sa Kanya. Amen. Amen? So sabi doon, They shall declare my praise. You are born to praise God. Amen. Alilu, parang kundi lang. You are born to praise God. Amen. You are born to declare His praises. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Sabi dito sa Psalms 105, verse 1 to 5. Sabi dito, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon His name. Make known His deeds among the people. Sing to Him. Sing praises to Him. Speak of all His wonderful acts and His devotedly praise them. Glory in His name. 
let the hearts of those who seek and require the Lord as their most essential need rejoice. Hallelujah. Sabi ni Lord, uh, sabi ng san sanis dito, magpasalamat ka sa Panginoon. Purihin mo siya. You know, sing to Him. Kantahan mo siya. Amen. Hallelujah. Hindi nila require ng Panginoon ng magandang boses or talent. God looks at the heart. Amen. So as we sing to the Lord, you know, we are singing, we are speaking all of His wonderful acts. Lahat naman tayo dito may ginawang kabutihan ng Panginoon. Amen? Amen. Di ba, meron ba isa lang? Meron ba isang kabutihan lang sa isang araw na binibigay ng Panginoon? Hindi. Sobrang dami. So hindi ka titigil sa pagpuri at masasalamat sa Panginoon. Ito, ito na nga lang yung Sunday na corporate we are praising and worshiping God's name. Ito pa yung time na tutunga nga tayo. Hallelujah! Hindi, di ba? So, dapat sa atin, every day we are praising God's name. Sabi na, let the hearts of those who seek and require the Lord as their most essential. Ito daw yung most essential mo. Kapag si Lord daw, rejoice. Hallelujah. Sabi ni pa dito, seek and deeply long for the Lord and His strength, His power, His might. Seek deeply, long for His face and His presence continually. Remember with awe and gratitude the wonderful things which He has done, His amazing deeds, and the judgment uttered by His mouth on His enemies as in Egypt. Hallelujah. Remember. Every time we come in praising the Lord, we remember His wonderful acts in our lives. Lord, thank you. I will never stop praising your name as long as I live. Hallelujah. So we do in Psalms 69 verse 13, I will praise the name of God with song and magnify Him with thanksgiving. Amen. Can you just declare this uh, verse right now? So we sabay tayo. One, two, three. I will, I will praise the name of God, God with song and magnify Him with thanksgiving. One more time. I will praise the name of God with song and magnify Him with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. So, we know that this praise, hallelujah, is kailangan natin siya gawin. It is a must. Hallelujah. So, there's a story in the Bible na nagpuri sila sa Panginoon and they have victory. Their weapon is just praising God. Hallelujah. In 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 20, verse 1 to 22, sabi dito, it happened after this that the people of Moab with the people of Ammon and others with them beside the Ammonites came to battle against Jehoshaphat. Ilan ang kalaban ni, ano, ni Jehoshaphat? Yung Moab, yung Ammon, at yung may isa pa. Yung others. May others pa dyan. So, tatlo kalaban. Tatlo versus isa. Hallelujah. Diba? Meron tayong, ano eh, sa buhay natin, meron din tayong tatlo kalaban. Si Blue, si Orange, sino ba? Kung purple ka or red. At yung marami pang iba, pa others. Marami tayong kalaban. And it gives us doubt. Alamaya, sino dito yung pag natanggap mo lang yung si Judith? Ano? Kinakabahang ka na. Diba? 
Ito, at hindi natin naiiwasan yung kalaban na yan. Hindi natin naiiwasan yung, yung kaba na yan. So ito, si Jehoshaphat, meron siyang tatlong kalaban. Yung Moab, yung Ammon, at yung others. At sabi dito, it happened after this. Yung, yung verse 19, sabi, ang ginawa ni King Jehoshaphat is nireform niya yung, yung rules niya sa Judah. So, tinama niya lahat ng mga mali na ginawa ng mga tatay at tatay ng tatay-tatay nila. So, ginawa niya, uh, ganito, kapag mag-judge kayo, gawin yung mag-judge na kasama niyo si Lord. Tinatama niya lahat yung pag-judge, yung ano, okay, pag mayroong kaso dito, dapat maayos yan kasi kapag niloko mo o nag-take ka ng bribe, ikaw ang mananagot. Yun yung ina inaayos niya talaga. So habang inaayos niya yung Judah, dumating naman ang it happened after this. At dumating naman yung sa time na nag-aayos na kayo ng buhay niyo, tapos bigla naman may tatlong kalaban. Ito, Lord, maayos na yun. Ayos ko na nga yung buhay ko eh. Pero bakit pa rin may ganito? May laban na naman. Hindi lang isa. Hindi lang dalawa. Tatlo pa. Hallelujah. Then, Psalm came and told Joshua, saying, A great multitude is coming against you. From beyond the sea, from Syria, and they are in ha Hazazon, Tamar, which is in the deep. And Jehoshaphat feared. Normal lang. Normal lang yan na, ma na maramdaman mo yung takot. Normal lang. But sabi dito, nung naramdaman ni Jehoshaphat yung takot, anong ginawa ni Jehoshaphat? And set himself to seek the Lord. Every time na may mararamdaman kang fear, ano dapat natin gawin? Set himself to seek. We seek the Lord. Every time we experience fear, we seek God. Hindi we seek other. Minsan, ang ginagawa natin, uh, hindi kay Lord tayo pumupunta. Amen? Gumagawa tayo ng ibang mga bagay na akala natin is makakapag makakapag-find ng solution but it is just the solution is the Lord. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo yung solution is the Lord. Kaya hanapin mo siya. Hallelujah. So Judah, ito, ito yung city of Judah. Judah gathered together to ask help from the Lord. And from all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. And said, Ito medyo mahaba to. Sabi, ito yung prayer ni, ito yung sinasabi ni Jehoshaphat kay Lord. O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nation? And in your hand is there not power and might so that no one is able to withstand you? Are you not our God who drove out the inhabit inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend, forever? Piniplit na ni Jehoshaphat yung case. Lord, ito yung ano, alam ko ito ka eh. Gano mo kakilala si Lord? Every time that you are in the battle, gaano mo kakilala si Lord na kapag dumiretso ka kay Lord, dumiretso tayo kay Lord, Lord, ito yung sinabi mo eh. Lord, ito yung pangako mo sa akin. Lord, sabi mo, hindi mo ko iiwan, hindi mo ko papabayaan. Gaano pa strong yung promises ng Panginoon sa atin? Nakatulad ni King Joshua, kaya niya Kaya niya sabihin, Lord, ikaw ang gumawa nito, di ba? Tapos sabi nito, 
and they dwell in it and have built you a sanctuary in it for your name saying if disasters come upon us sword judgment pestilence and or famine we will stand before this temple and in your presence for your name is in this temple and cry out to you in our affliction and you will hear and save do you know prayer ni, ni Jehoshaphat, ni King Jehoshaphat? And now, here are the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, whom you would not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them, did not destroy them. Here they are. Lord, nandito na sila. Ginigayaan na nila ako, papunta na sila sa akin. They're rewarding us by coming to throw us out of your possession which you have given to us to inherit. Oh, our God, will you not judge them? Then sinabi ni Jehoshaphat, For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us. Nor do we know what to do. Lord, wala kaming kapangyarihan. Dumating ka naman sa point na wala ka nang magagawa. Sa sitwasyon na meron ka ngayon, sabi na, no, wala akong power against this. Masyado silang malaki, masyado silang uh, malakas. Sorry. Nor do we know what to do? Hindi ko na rin alam yung gagawin ko. Lord, sa sitwasyon na meron ako ngayon, Lord, hindi ko na alam ang gagawin ko. Pero sinabi ni Joshua pa dito, but our eyes are upon you. Lord, yung mata ko na sa'yo. Lord, tumating man ako dito sa, 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 sa sitwasyon na to, alam ko na may gagawin ka kasi nakatingin ako sa'yo. Malaki man yung, malaki man yung, yung warfare na meron ka ngayon. Hindi ko alam ko ano yung mga laban niyo sa family. O personal na laban. But I know, when your eyes are on God, God will do something. Amen. Amen. So, after this, now, all Judah. Sa ibang version, sabi dito, now all the men, lahat ng mga tatay, Lahat ng mga tatay, sumigaw ng hallelujah. Hallelujah! Bote ah. Parang konti natin yan. <laughs> Lahat ng mga tatay, sumigaw ng hallelujah. Hallelujah! Sabi nito, now all with Judah, men, with their little ones, lahat ng mga anak, wala dito yung mga chikiting, and their wives, lahat ng mga asawang babae, sumigaw ng hallelujah. Hallelujah! Magpapatalo ba tayong mga tatay dito? <laughs> Parang medyo mas wala ka sila eh, no? Lahat nga ulit ng mga tatay, sumigaw ng Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yan! Lahat naman ng mga nanay? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And their children, lahat ng mga anak na nandito, sumigaw ng Hallelujah! 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 Lahat sila, they stood before the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Lahat, walang iniisa na KJ. Lahat sila, Lord, nandito ako. Tumatayo ako. Tumatayo ako sa mga pangako ng Lord. I'm in the war. I'm in the war right now, Lord, but I know na tumatayo ako sa iyo, sa harapan mo. Amen? So, ito na. Sumagot na si Lord. Handa na ba kayo sa sagot ni Lord? Sabi nito, Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jahaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, and the son of Jeel, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Esau, in the midst of the assembly, and said, Listen! Listen you, all of you, all of Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you, King Jehoshaphat, thus say 
the Lord to you. Do not be afraid or dismayed because of this great multitude. Sabi, huwag kang matakot. Huwag kang madismaya. Dahil lang dito sa malaki, inikina lang mga great multitude. Diba? For the battle is not yours, but God. Yeah. Hallelujah! <laughs> yung battle na, na, na nandito ka ngayon, is hindi mo yan laban. Laban yan ni Lord. Amen. So wag kang matakot. Sabi mo sa kadami mo, wag kang matakot. <laughs> Hallelujah! Sabi na no, tomorrow, go down against them. Lord, hindi na ako matatakot. Baka pwede naman dito na lang ako. Pwede na lang siguro, Lord, umupo ako. May word ka naman eh. Bakit tomorrow? Kailangan ko pang puntahan. Baka makita ako. Lord, nakakagaw ba yan? Sabi nun, Lord, dahil sabi ni Lord, tomorrow, go down with, against them. They will surely come up by the a set of these and you will find them at the end of the book before the wilderness of Jeruel. Tapos sabi ulit ni Lord, they, uh, they will surely come and na, 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 na. you will not need to fight in this battle. Hindi mo kailangan lumabat dito sa gera na to. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Kaya tayo pinapagpunta pa rin ng Panginoon. Kaya pa rin tayo pinapadanas ng Panginoon dun sa, sa great multitude na yun. Hindi para lumabang ka. Para makita mo kung paano ka isave ni Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Kaya pa rin dumadanas pa rin tayo. Kasi gusto ng Panginoon na makita mo yung kapangyarihan niya sa buhay mo at maging uh, landmark to ng buhay mo. Amen? Amen. Pero, position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. Amen? Amen. Sabi na, do not fear or be dismayed. Inulit na ulit ang Panginoon. Uh, tomorrow, go out against them for the Lord is with you. Then, nung narinig ni Jehoshaphat to, this is his response. Jehoshaphat bowed down, bowed his head with his face to the ground. Hallelujah! And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. Di ko alam kung may nabubuksan ngayon sa yung mga isipan, but nakita na, na, pinakita ng Panginoon na, na dito ako sa iyo. Na dito ako ngayon. Ako ang lalaban dun sa laban mo. Then ano yung respond? Jehoshaphat worship. Kapag dumaan ka sa warfare, Nakita mo kung gano'n sila kalaki. Ano ang nagiging respond mo? Lord, bakit na naman? Ba't ako na naman? Lord, ang hirap naman ito. Lord, di ko kaya ito. And we can begin to complain. Nakakaroon tayo ng mga complaints. Kay Lord. Amen? Amen? But this response is so proud naging ano ng effect sa Judah. Yung leader nila, they bow down at sumunod yung mga tao. They bow down in worship. When you are in warfare, sabi doon, When I fight, I fight on my knees With my hands lifted high, oh God The battle belongs to you. Hallelujah. 
And then next is then the Levites of the children of the Kohatites, Kohatites. And all the children of the Kohatites stood up to praise the Lord, God of Israel, with voices loud and high. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ulitin natin, no? Stood up to praise the Lord, God of Israel, with voices loud and high. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hindi lang sila tumayo at nag-observe, but they praise God with their voices loud and high. Amen. Hallelujah. When we worship the Lord, it is, it is when we praise God, we express. Amen. Hindi lang tayo uh, nakatumana, but we express on praising God. Ito. So they rose early in the morning. Pag-isabi nga sa katipo mo, they rose early in the morning. Hallelujah. Sila kasi, sasabay sila sa praise and worship. Kaya they rose early in the morning. Hindi ako magpapalate, Lord. Kasi, magpupuri ako sa Panginoon. Magpupuri ako sa iyo. Hallelujah. Anong ginawa nila? They rose early in the morning. Mamaya pupuntahan pa ang ilita niya, they rose early in the morning. And went out into the wilderness of Tekoa as they wait, went out. Sabi na, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord. Ngayon, si Jehoshaphat, nag-appoint siya ng silva karata. At sino, and who should praise the beauty of His Holiness? As they were, as they went out before the army, they were saying, Praise the Lord, for His mercy endures forever. Hindi nila nila paulit-ulit, Praise the Lord, for His mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord. First mercy and church forever. At, at ito naging resulta. Now when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, and, and now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes against people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir who had come against Judah and they were Defeated. Ano ang ginawa ng Juda sa tatlo niyang kalaban? Wala. Wala siyang ginawa. Anong ginawa lang niya kay Lord? Nagpuri siya. Lord, meron ako nasa, nasa warfare ako. Lord, di ko kaya yan. Pero alam ko ang kaya kong gawin ang magpuri sa iyo. And you begin to, to realize na ito ko lang pala ang solusyon sa lahat ng battle na meron ako is to declare your praises. Amen? Sabi nyo, lahat na nang against sa Judah, they were defeated. Hallelujah! As we raise a banner of praise today, let the enemy be defeated in our lives. Amen. So, number one, praising God brings forth victory. Amen. There is victory when we praise God. Amen. Kaya siguro, uh, may mga pakiramdam tayong palunan kasi kulang tayo sa pagpuri natin sa Panginoon. Yes. Praising God is opening the heaven in open natin yung heaven, the Lord, gawin mo to. At alam kong ikaw lang makakagawa nito. Amen? So, sabi dito nga sa 2 Chronicles 21, the last verse natin, Now, when they began to sing and to praise, 
the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir who had come against Judah and they were defeated. But they sing and praise God. Hallelujah. Number two is praise. Praising God brings true freedom. Sino dito yung gusto ng kalayaan? Amen. Para konti, no? Sino dito yung gusto ng kalayaan? Amen. Yung totoong kalayaan? Amen. Sabi dito, sa Acts 16, verse 25 to 26, uh, nakulong sila Paul and Silas, and ito na yung nangyari. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto, the, unto God. Amoy, nakulong ka na. Inusente ka man. Inusente ka naman. Pero, nakulong ka. Ang pwede mong, ma- at pwede mong gawin is magreklamo. Lord, wala naman akong ginagawa mo sa ma. Lord, nag-serve lang naman ako sa'yo. Bakit kailangan ko pag dito dumaan sa kulungan? At the darkest hour, sabi dito, midnight. Ito yung pinakamadilim na oras sa, sa atin. At yung, yung prisons, yung, yung kulungan pa nung panahon na yun, is hindi siya normal na kulungan. Medyo maayos pa yung kulungan natin dyan. Yung kulungan doon, uh, katabi mo lang yung kung saan ka uh, dumudumi. Hindi siya, hindi siya, hindi siya maganda. Hindi siya, ano, uh, livable. Amen? So, magre-reklamo ka talaga eh. Lord, ginawa ko naman yung best ko sa'yo. Pero bakit ko lang dumating dito sa piso? Pero anong respond ni, Je- ni, ni Paul and Silas? They prayed and sang praises. Tapos anong nangyari? And the prisoner heard them and suddenly, pakisabi, suddenly, suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's band were loose. Sa pagpuri nila sa Panginoon, napektuhan pa yung iba. Hindi lang kay Paul and Silas yung nalus, but lahat ng nandun, lahat ng doors naging na-open because of praising God. Or, kapag nandito ka sa isang madilim na sitwasyon ng buhay mo, all na kailangan mo lang gawin is to praise His name. Pray and seek praises to His name. Sabi dito sa sa Psalm 22 verse 5, But you are holy and throned in the praises of Israel. Sa King James Version, But thou art holy, O thou that, o thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. God inhabited, inhabits our praises. Ulitin natin, God inhabits our praises. Parang ula, God inhabits our praises. Every time na we, na, na pupuri tayo sa Panginoon, every time that we worship God, God inhabits our praises. Tumitirad siya doon, nagdidwell siya doon sa ating mga papuri sa Kanya. At we know that when the Spirit of the Lord, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So every time na nagpapuri tayo sa Panginoon, yung presence sa Panginoon, it inhabits our praise. And where the Spirit of the Lord, there is freedom. There is emancipation from bondage or true freedom. Hallelujah! 
May freedom pala every time na nagpupuri tayo sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. And next, number three, praising God ignites breakthrough. There is breakthrough when we praise the Lord. Amen? So sabi dito, I think Joshua chapter 6, this is the story of wall of Jer Jericho. Then on the seventh day, they got up early at daybreak. Sinabi ko na nga sa inyo kanina, babalikan natin, they got up early in the morning. Sabi dito, they got up early at daybreak. Ano ginawa nila sa daybreak? And march around the city in the same way seven times. Alam niyo ba kung ilang beses umikot ang um, sila Joshua sa wall of Jericho? Ha? It is 13. 13 times na umikot sila sa Jericho. Bakit na sabi ito? On the seventh day, sabi ito, ginawa nila, day one, ikot sila, day two, ikot. Pagkatating ng day seven, umikot sila ng isa, pero kailangan nila gawin pang seven times. Sabi ito, oh, only on that day, they march around the city seven times. So, umulit, seven times sila, umi umikot ulit sa wall of Jericho. So the people shouted the battle cry. Ano yung battle cry natin? It is our praise. It is our praise. Ano ulit yung battle cry natin? It is our praise. So the people shouted the battle cry and the priests blew the trumpets. When the people heard the sound of the trumpet, they raised a great shout. Hallelujah! Can I hear a shout of the people who worship the King? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Is it a great shout? Yes. Hallelujah! And the wall of Jericho fell down. So that the sons of Israel went up into the city. Every man straight ahead climbing over the rubble and over the overthrow the city. Next. This is the last point that we give. Praising God leads us or and gives us access to His holy place. Psalms 104, verse 4, it says, Enter His gates with thanksgiving and enter His courts with praise. Be thankful to Him. Bless and praise His name. Every time, alam ba natin kung bakit tayo nagpupuri sa Panginoon? Bakit may praise and worship pa? Ba't hindi nalang diretsyo sa word? Ba't hindi nalang diretsyo na makinig na tayo ng agad ng salita? Ba't kailangan pa merong tutugan, may sayawan, may papuri, may pagsamba? Bakit? <laughs> Ulitin natin yung tatong ha. Bakit ba kailangan natin magpuri muna? Para? Para maihanda ang puso at sarili. Kasi i-enter tayo sa presensya ng Panginoon. The presence of God, nung time ng tabernakel, there is the presence of God in the most holy. The holy of holies. Na doon mo lang matatagpuan yung presensya ng Panginoon. Even na uh, sobrang grabe. So, as we enter into uh, the presence of God, which is the, the holy of holies, meron tayong tatlong, uh, tatlong place na kailangan nating pasukin. This is the outer court, the inner court, which is the ho holy place, and the holy of holies. 
So, tatlo yan. The outer court, the holy place, or inner court, and the holy of holies. The holy of holies, the dun yung Ark of the Covenant. Which is speaking of the, the, the glorious presence of God. Sa outer court, meron yung gate. At ang mga nakakapasok dyan is lahat ng nag-offer ng burnt offering. Lahat na nagsusunog, lahat na merong offering kay Lord, nila, dyan nilalagay sa outer court. Sa outer court, yan yung place na which is mabango. Kasi amoy dugo dyan. Amoy dugo, uh, masangsang amoy, sipin nyo yung palengke. Medyo may pagkaamoy-amoy naman ng pagka-barbecue kasi ano yan eh, sinusunod nila yung offering eh. So, pero ma madalas doon is doon kinakatay, doon pinakamaingay. Kasi habang kinakatay, sinong, sinong animal dito ang kinakatay tapos tahimik lang. Di ba lahat? Pag nakakita na ako ng bagoy na kinakatay eh, grabing ingay. So, ang ingay dito, Ba, mga mga ino-offer nila. Then in the holy place, pagpasok mo, hindi lang agad yun diretso. Ay Lord, diretso na ako sa holy place ha. Hindi na ako pumunta sa outer court. So, kailangan niya pumasok muna sa gate, which is this gate. Ano daw kailangan, ano daw yung password natin sa gate? Pagpapasok tayo sa presence sa Panginoon, una, ang gagawin natin is Thanksgiving. Kaya ka, ka kanina, pinata natin na uh, Oh my life, we have been faithful. Now we, we are giving God thanks kasi Lord, ito yung ginawa ko sa buhay ko. You've been faithful every day in my life. Tapos, pag sinabi, sinabi naman niya dito, and His courts with praise. Yung pupunta na sa holy place. The holy place. Sorry, medyo ano ha. The holy place. This is where yung mga furniture like the shoe bread which speak of our communion with the Lord. The shoe bread. The table of shoe bread. Yung intimacy natin sa Panginoon. The, the golden lampstand which speaks of the power of God. And the, the altar of incense, which speaks of the burning passion prayer of His people. Kaya yung prayer, di ba? Like, a, like an incense. Yung pag sinunog mo yung incense, papunta siya sa taas. Walang incense yun na papunta ka doon. Humidifier yun. Kapag pumunta sa baba. Yung incense, papunta taas yun. So, papunta up. So, every time when we pray, papunta sa taas. Kung titignan natin, sabi nito, enter his gates with song of thanksgiving. Pagpapasok ka ng outer court, you enter it with thanksgiving. Lord, thank you. Pagpapasok ka naman sa holy place, you enter with praise. And when we praise God, nagkakaroon tayo ng access dun sa communion, dun sa intimacy. Kaya ang dali na lang mag-worship sa Panginoon. Ang dali na lang ibigay yung lahat kasi durog na durog ka na. Pinala na ng Panginoon yung puso natin. Kaya pagdating sa word, nakaupo ka at nakikinig. Hindi ka distracted. Because dito pa lang sa simula, na nasa proseso ka na. At you became, na uh, nagkaroon ka na ng access sa communion. Mas madali na lang sa'yo kumunekta sa Panginoon. Mas madali na lang sa'yo mag-breakthrough. But mas madali na lang humingi ng revival sa Panginoon. Why? Because you enter His courts with praise. Hallelujah! When you don't feel God's presence is when you need to praise Him the most. Ulitin natin, when you don't feel God's presence is when you need to praise Him the most. Masasabi ko, ako is a uh, patotoo, na hindi lahat ng oras is na-feel ko yung presence sa Panginoon. Minsan, 
na quiet. Isa parang wala siya. Pag, lalo na kapag nandun ka sa pagsubok, lalo na kapag nandun ka sa warfare, minsan nang nafe-feel mo yung takot, imbis na si Lord eh. But whenever you feel that way, na, na, Lord, parang hindi kita maramdaman, it is when the time that you must praise Him the most. Amen. Hallelujah! Somebody, it's easier to act your way into a feeling than, your, than feel your way into a, an action. In, in fact, maturity is when we do what's right, whether we feel it, like it, or not. It is maturity. Yung hindi ka nakadepende sa kung anong feeling mo. Maybe you, you come here in this place na, okay lang, eh, konti problema, kumukuha dyan, at hindi ko feel na magpuri sa Panginoon. Or, but pwede mo sabihin na, Lord, uh, I'm here, dito lang ako para makinig ng word mo. Hindi ko feel talaga kumanta. Masyado, masakit yung lalamunan ko. When, when, nakadepende tayo sa feeling, rather than the spirit that was saying, praise Him. We are not mature enough. Because it is maturity kung hindi ka nakadepende sa feeling mo. Laging sinasabi sa akin ni Mami to. Every time na dito, uh, tawag pa nun dati is D. Which is the disciplinary reaction. Kaya kausap ako ni Mami pag gano'n. Sabi niya, uh, hindi ka feeling. Kasi ako yung tao ko laging nakabay sa feeling. Di ko feel, di mo lang church May mga time na hindi talaga ako nag-church. Di ako kakata kasi di ko feel. Maybe, or somehow, my life na, I always depend on what I feel. Kaya minsan, nagkakamali, uh, the choices that I have made, it is because sinusunod ko yung feeling na nararamdaman ko. But sasabihin natin na you are not a feeling. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are not a feeling. Sabi mo sa sarili mo, I am not a feeling. Hindi ako magbe-base sa pagpuri ko sa Panginoon is hindi ako magbe-base na yon sa feelings ko. On what I feel. But I will praise God because you are God. I will praise you dahil marami kang ginawang magagandang uh, bagay sa buhay ko. I will praise you. I will choose to praise you. Even when I feel na hindi, I will still choose to praise you. Praising God is, the, is one of the most powerful things that you can do. This is a powerful thing. Kaya ang weapon natin, our battle cry is? Praise. What is our battle cry? Praise. Sometimes you may not feel it like you have a single thing to celebrate. But praise God anyway. Amen. So we will praise God anyway. Praise God anyway. Make your mouth say the words even when you don't feel them. Your sacrifice of praise is very valuable to God, especially under challenging circumstances. Amen. Amen. So, I want you to declare this. Praising God is one of the most powerful things I can do. Pwede ba natin sabihin ito as we read this one? I want you to read this with faith. Amen. With all of your heart. Ready? One, two, three, go. Praising is one of the most powerful things I can do. Sometimes I may not feel like I have a single day to celebrate, but I will praise God anyway. I will make my mouth say the words even when I don't feel them. My sacrifice of praise is very valuable to God. Especially under challenging circumstances.
ulitin natin with a uh, with a loud voice declaring what do we go praising is one of the most powerful things i can do sometimes i may not feel like i'm something to be celebrate i will praise god anyway i will make my mouth say the words even when i don't feel that my sacrifice of praise is very valuable to god especially Lord, I will praise you anyway. Lord, even if I am in this warfare of life, na hindi maiiwasan, Lord, I will praise you anyway. Lord, kahit katulad ni Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, itatapon man sila sa apoy, but Lord, I will still choose kahit hindi mo ko iligtas, I will choose to praise your name. I will choose to declare your praises. Hallelujah. Right now, under the presence of the Lord, can we just stand up? And I want you to raise your hand as high as you can. A symbol of praising Him. Hallelujah. Do not base on what you feel right now. I want you to, to hear the Spirit that is calling you right now. Yes. Praise Him. I want you to raise your hands as high as you can. Do that based on what you feel right now. Hallelujah. And begin to give thanks to Him. Hallelujah. Give thanks to Him right now. Open up your mouth.
your guys to play school, Father. And through our giving, oh God, may we praise you, Panginoon, oh God. Sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay na ito, Panginoon, oh God, lahat kami, Lord, may mamabatan sa finances namin, Panginoon. But I declare and I believe once we have given, Lord, our tithes and offering, oh God, lalag mo ito, tutubo ito, Panginoon, para sa iyong kanuhan hatiyan at kabahiyan. Lord, pagpalain mo ang bawat isang dali nito, Lord, na magbibigay para sa iyong gawain, Panginoon, oh God. Their works, their businesses, oh God. Ano mga pinagkakakitaan ng bawat isang Panginoon. And, but Lord, I pray na hindi lang ito ang maging focus namin, Panginoon, oh God. But Lord, lagi ka namin pagkahin sa aming buhay ang iyong mga salita. Panginoon, oh God, at ang iyong katwiran, Panginoon, and all these things shall be added up to us, Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon. You deserve all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almost, matatapos na. So, pag 
Okay, submit lang po until Tuesday, December 12. And then, uh, exchange gift natin ay magkano? Ay, dan. So, may nagtanong kasi, ano po yung isabihin ng life roll? No, kaya nilagay na po doon sa announcement kagabi. Kung ikaw ay tatay, ang gift na uh, bibili mo ay? Pang tatay. Pang tatay. Kung ikaw ay winner, ang bibili mo pang exchange gift? para po hindi tayo mahirapan. Tingnan siya na ba? Sinan ba? Sabi ko, isin. Bakit ako mo sinin? Doon. For granted. Ayan, may plan. Sa akin niya sinin. O, ayun. Okay, siguro lahat na lang ng youth natin i-gather na lang kayo dito. Kasi kung isa-isahin ko ito, matatagalan tayo sa announcement. No? So, uh, cluster, tuloy pa rin po yung cluster natin. Wait lang, kasi nag-istahan talaga ako, baka may makalimutan ako. Okay, then, ang prayer meeting po natin ay sa Alcaraz ulit, sa Vinicius tayo, okay, na ate Leo. Okay, so, i-meet lang po namin yung mga youth para din alam ninyo yung uh, assignment ninyo sa Sunday para tulong-tulong tayo, no, pagdating sa pool, pagninginis, pag-uhugas, etc., etc. Okay, so wala may tanong po ba? Ah, may, uh, may Sunday service po tayo ng morning. And then dito po tayo magsasalo-salo. Kaya po tayo may contribution para po may... Dito po tayo kakain. May buffet table po tayo dyan. And then after po na mga 1 o'clock, start na po yung ating Thanksgiving celebration. Okay, may tanong. Wag lang po ano. Wag lang po science. Wag science. Sige po dito po kayo magtanong. May tanong ba? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, meron pa po ba? Wala na po ah, klaro po 'yan ah. Okay, sige, tumayo po tayo lahat para po sa closing prayer. Sige po, let's pray. Hallelujah. Lord, as long as we are breathing, O God, we will continue to give you praise. Amen. And every time, Lord, na what we feel contradicts, Lord, to your word, we will continue to praise and declare your holy word in our lives, O God. Thank you, Lord, for giving us these powerful weapons, O God, so that we will continue to be victorious while we are here on earth. Earth, Panginoon. At ayaw mo, Lord, ng iyong mga anak dito sa worship takin, Panginoon, ay patuloy na magpuri. Patuloy, Lord, na sumamba. Patuloy, Lord, na itaas ka sa kanilang mga buhay. Despite of, Lord, any challenges that we are in. O God. Maraming salamat, Lord, sa patuloy, Lord, na pagsama mo sa amin. May your presence continue to be with us wherever we go. And Lord, dalhin mo kami muli sa lugar na ito na with, with excitement, Lord, to give you praise again and to and for you to be enthroned, Lord, in our midst, so God. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyong patuloy, Lord God, na katapatan, patuloy, Lord, na pag-ibig at patuloy, Lord, na pagsama sa amin, Lord God. And I pray, Lord, that you will continue, Lord, to guide us even as we go. At patuloy mo, Panginoon, na Uh, i-bless ang iyong mga anak ko, God. Maraming maraming salamat po sa iyo ang lahat ng papuri, pasasalamat, ang lahat ng kaluwalhatian, 